All right, guys. So this is, uh, I got stuck rambling. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I, I try. I try to I try to make it quick, but I can't. Um, okay, so plug advertising for myself, for the FPV Raw podcast. It's been on for about a year. I have over 100 episodes already. I've interviewed a lot of people. I'm still working to get more people on on the interview. I try to, I try to get it, you know, reasonable amount of time and, and get everybody on. Um, but go check it out. FPV raw podcast. It's mainly for the adult audience. So just be aware of that. Um, FYI, there's some curse words. So just keep that in mind. Also, I've been helping out, uh, Mr. Steel, Steel Davis and Eric Konetsny, um, Konasty FPV with the team fail safe podcast. I've been, um, helping the guys do that. I do all the editing and, and all that good stuff. So, um, go check us out over there. And also if you are a big fan of the show, the, the podcast, um, FPV raw, you can go to the sweep wings website, sweepwings.com, And, uh, I have a donation button there. It's a dollar. Um, I don't like to ask for, for people to, to, to do it, but if you are a listener and you want to contribute a buck, um, it's spread out for everybody. So if everyone pitches in a buck, it helps with the podcast and the uh, monthly subscription that it is to run it on the site. So I have the $45 fee, um, monthly fee, but I own all the gear. So I, I spent all the money and, and, you know, I bought the gear. So that's on me. So, but it's, allowing me to give you content and really clean audio this setup here that i'm uh, using right now for voiceovers on flight videos which is a little bit different than the interface that i have uh, for podcasting so um yeah see i already rambled off and it's totally missed my mark <laughs> but uh hopefully i got i got some video in the back it's a, it's run off the mobius uh old video from 2014 i just put it up there so you guys can check it out in the background but um Go check us out, uh, the Team Failsafe podcast, and check out my podcast. It's the FPV Raw podcast, so um, I'm going to keep pushing it. I have two videos that this ad is going to be on. Yes, this is an ad. This is my own personal ad, which I don't get no money for. Um, YouTube ain't paying me, so I'm going to put this one in front of the video that I'm going to show you, which is going to be a little bit longer, and then I'm going to put this same uh, clip, edit, commercial into the next one. So they're going to be long videos, but I want to give you guys the two videos of a juggernaut with the Dragon Link and the GoPro 6 without stability, um, image stability on, on the GoPro 6, and a crossfire juggernaut with my 3D printed mount and image stability on a GoPro Session 5. So you guys will be able to check that out. You'll also see the um, how steady the Juggernaut um, with the Session 6 without IS on, image stability. And then you can see how the image stability on the Session 5 is working. So the frame is, is relatively steady, even in, in the gusty condition. But you'll see how the image stability is like, trying to correct everything so no just notice that um i, I do like the the is in the, in the session five so that's pretty cool but just keep that in mind look at the difference look at the airframe um and notice that a little bit of wind will still create bumps but the is 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 trying to like correct everything so that's i think that's pretty cool so i want to show that to you guys i want you guys to see the 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 real content of of everything and this is already a long ass video. <laughs> so hopefully you guys stick around for the whole entire video. I have two videos up and uh, I'm going to end it here because I've been talking for way too long. All right, guys, enjoy. Glide test. There she is. First maiden. Little glide. Oh my god, it's bright. Goggles are not down yet. So. 
super lightweight. There's motor off. Let's bring it around. Motor off. Oh my God, I don't look in the sun. Oh, it's bright. Uh, you'll probably do a couple clicks down. Let's see, and my finger's bleeding. I don't know what I cut it on. All right, so there it is. I hope you can see it. So this is the, the maiden of the uh, Dragon Link Juggernaut going into the wind. Just cruising, you can see it right there. A little waggy because there is no, I have no idea how fast that is. So it's pretty slow. Okay, and we see that I can probably click down. Clicky click down. Give it a little turn. Okay, it porpoises, which is, I don't mind personally, because that way, look, if it porpoises, that means it's going to go up. So hands off into the wind it's like just gonna sit there unless it's ass is getting pushed by the wind but so that's that's just what i like to do because i'm crazy like that i like it silly uh i'll probably tip it down a little so far so good so um Still hooking a little, couple clicks. Other than that, it's working pretty good. Uh, okay, I'd say that's pretty good. Well, not really. Still, it's still popping up, which I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, a little bit more right. Typical porpoise in. Goggles down. So now we're floating under the goggles. More clicks down. Too much. Seems to be about right there. Out past the tree. So if 61, 60, 61 amps, 61, but then it's starting to taper down 55 amps, 56, 55. Um, the output is actually really good at three, or no, at eight, 850 watts, which is pretty good. And it says uh, max uh, at 75 amps, which I'm guessing a fully charged brand new pack, and then it usually dies off. So 